Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, my beautiful family. How are you all doing? I hope everyone is well by the grace of God. Welcome back to Ernestina's Kitchen. If you are a subscriber, please welcome. If you are new, please, you are also welcome. I want to take a minute to thank you all, all my subscribers, my supporters, my viewers for the amazing job that you are all doing by me. I am so grateful and appreciative. God bless you all abundantly. So guys, before I begin, I have to apologize that I haven't posted for a little bit um, because I have been sick and busy and I'm so not myself. So if I sound a little bit off, please, my apologies, okay? So guys, okay, today <laughs> we are going to make a little bit nice soup. It's been a while since we made some nice light soup. So guys, I hope you enjoy it. Here are our beautiful ingredients. All right, we have some Roma tomatoes here. We have okra and also some mushrooms. You guys are wondering why I have so much mushroom. Like I said to you guys, I'm not feeling myself, I'm not feeling good. So, mushroom is actually really good for you, okay? It's good for your immune system. It's also good at vitamin D. Believe it or not, mushrooms fight cancer. Anyway, so we're also going to use um, ginger and scalp bunny peppers. We have three types of onions here. We have purple onions, yellow onions, and shallot. We are also going to use this beautiful mackerel fish as well. We have here Dajda scrub. We also have anise seeds and cloves of garlic. So we have uh, three roots of ginger. This is how much I'm using garlic. You can use as much as you want, but the only reason I'm using so much is I am sick. Garlic is really good for your immune system. I'm using, um, this is two tablespoons of anise seeds. It's also good for your health and your system. I'm using two purple onions, three yellow onions, and three shallots. okay? What I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut them and put in my blender here, add some water, Okay, so all the vegetables has cut. Now I have here cloves of garlic in here, anise seeds, and one warm cup of water. So now we are ready to blend. All right, so we have our clean pot here. We have our coffee and also gourmet inside here. I am also adding in my mushroom. I am adding one tablespoon of salt to taste. This is the seasoning that I blended from earlier on, also going on like this. No need to add water because there is enough water and also most of the time the meat have its own liquid, okay? So you don't need to add water. But if you get a little bit dry, by all means go ahead and add some liquid. Once you put your seasoning and your sodium, you are going to give it a very good stir and we are going to steam it for 20 to 25 minutes. I have boiling water here. I am going to put in my veggies. Okay guys, my meat were well, a little bit small so I added turkey legs as you can see right here. Okay, turkey legs right here. Okay, right here. Alright. So now the soup is finished steaming. I am going to blend my veggies. 
oh my goodness guys i almost forgot to put in my um tomato paste so after you steam your meat for about 20 to 25 minutes you add your tomato paste at this point you are going to stir very well in it okay just like that and with this we are going to wait for an additional five minutes before we blend our veggies before we blend our veggies Hey, it looks like my veggie cell now, so I'm probably gonna blend it twice. Alright. Okay guys, so you can see all this white stuff in here. This is the seasoning that we blend from earlier on for our meat. Guys, you don't need to wash it out, you can just blend your veggies with it. This is the first batch of the vegetables. Okay. This one is blend Second batch of the veggies. Yeah. Okay, so this is the vegetables that we uh, we boil. This is the broth. Okay, I always add uh, the broth to my soup because I find it tastes very very nice. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just drain it. guys so now the soup is going beautifully we are ready to add our macro fish yes. okay so we are ready to add in our fish you can see that they not add any seasoning because the soup itself have a lot of spice and seasoning Okay, so anyone who don't know how to clean crab properly, I am going to demonstrate. I also have in my other videos. You know, anytime I make soup with crab, please check it out. Also have uh, some demonstrations there for how to clean your uh, crab. So we are going to begin with first. You lift this up, okay, and then you are going to, you know, behind the shell right here. I'm going to move it. Feel the knife for that? Just like that. Okay, so we are going to take Told me that you have to clean your crab because they eat all this nastiness from the bottom of either the lake or the ocean. So I'm used to it. Let's try. get rid of the smell and also keep it nice and fresh and tasty okay so now i've done this 
I usually leave it on for five minutes. Now I'm gonna rinse it off and then done. Now we are gonna add it to our soup. Wow, amazing. Look at this, this soup is gonna taste good. I know, I can already tell. Beautiful. So now, about, I would say 15 minutes, everything will be done. All right, guys. Our soup is looking absolutely delicious. Done. So now we are going to make a small fussy to go with it. Yes. All right, beautiful people. We are going to make small fufu, pounded yam fufu that we are going to make. So we have our water here. Okay. We're gonna bring it to boil. Okay. This is the brand that we are using for the pounded yam flour. Okay. So the water is already boiling. So what are we going to do is we just want to put a good amount, okay? I probably say maybe if you want to measure it, probably like three cups, okay? So that's what we're doing right now. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to make sure that it doesn't go lumpy. So you can see that my water is a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more flour to the uh, pounded yam. So all I'm doing right now is I am making my fufu look nice and presentable. Fufu is Fufu is big. Wow, guys, the soup is done, eh? Looks beautiful. So now we are ready to eat our fufu. Oh my goodness, guys! This here is our beautiful dangerous crown that's right right there beautiful this here is our macro fish wow 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 amazing light soup i am loving this this soup looks so great and honestly honestly it tastes so good too thank you so much for watching guys Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share, and become part of Ernestina's Kitchen family because you know what? We do love big family. Thank you, guys. Once again, I am sorry there's no energy today. Next time, I promise I'll be better. Thank you. God bless you all. See you next time. <laughs>